Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Air Job Boss. This is the continuation of the interview question and answer series. And today's question is, what characteristics would you say is makes an ideal company? Yeah. All right. Now, first and foremost, hopefully you're interviewing with the company you really, really want to work for. And this should be relatively easy to answer this question because you're simply going to state the characteristics that that company has. Now, a lot of people when they are um, investigating or creating company profiles and then determining where they would most want to work are pretty aware of the benefits of that company. So you would want to state those benefits of that company. Now, this is you telling them what you want. Okay, and that makes a lot of sense and, and goes along. It's a good answer if they offer you what you want. But it can often look a little one sided when you say things like, well, a good company offers great salary and benefits, health insurance, life insurance operation, flexible schedule a lot of opportunity to move into other aircraft, a variety of destinations to fly, a variety of bases to live in, uh, a variety of, of uh, scheduling parameters, early morning shows, late morning shows, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That is, it's important that you know what the airline is offering and, and they want you to fully understand that. So you are going in eyes wide open, uh, but really, they kind of want to know also when answering this question, what are you going to do for them in a roundabout way? For example, they want you to learn how to be helpful to their company and to use your talents, skills, and experience to further their goals. So it's important that you say one of the ideal characteristics of a great company is having a well-defined mission and understanding what they're trying to accomplish in the marketplace. Your airline does this. Your airline's mission statement is blah, 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 blah. I find that to be an excellent characteristic of an airline. See, you're kind of adding that you understand what they're trying to do and you're willing to do that. Okay, so it's going to be a bigger idea, a little bit bigger idea than just benefits living. Now, of course, everybody wants and needs those things, so you can add those things in. But what really is the characteristic? Here is one of the big characteristics of an airline, an ideal airline, an airline you can believe in their mission. That is the most important aspect that you can tell them. Because regardless of benefits, bases, schedule, aircraft, those things may not always be in place. Through economic recession, worldwide pandemic, acts of terrorism, war, uh, bankruptcies, mergers, those things, those little things may go away. But the mission of the airline or the legacy of the airline, the idea, the revolution, the what they're really trying to accomplish. This is the most important thing for you to tell them because this will be the thing that'll always be there. It'll always last. And they want to know that you're motivated by more than money, that you wanna be motivated by an ideal, moving toward an ideal, a great destination, a taking on a journey that requires work toward a mission and a final destination of some great airline in the making, okay? Uh, another thing is opportunity for growth because the airline wants you to always be working toward achieving more, learning more, becoming a better employee. So when you say an ideal airline has a lot of opportunity for growth, I anticipate working for this airline will allow me to someday become a, a, a captain, maybe a check airman, maybe a sim instructor, maybe the director of flight training or a fleet manager. Your company has a lot of opportunities for growth and I know that you hire from within for these positions and I feel that if I spend an entire career at an airline, I'm really looking forward to growth in my industry, developing my character, 
my talents and my skills and finding better ways to accomplish the mission of the company I work for. Yeah? That's one of the ideal characteristics that you want to tell them of, of their company is, an, is ability for internal growth, p things to do, uh, pro progress in their company, okay? Also, you can fall back on legacy. Um, one of the main characteristics of an ideal company is having a legacy behind them. Some airlines in the United States are an amalgamation of several different mergers, and those mergers merge different cultures, different business cultures, and different mission statements. And those mission statements and cultures have been refined. When America West merged with US Air, those cultures and those missions had to come together and be refined. They took the best of each one and put that together into the new airline. When that company then, US Air, merged with American Airlines, same thing occurred. Northwest Delta, JetBlue Spirit, a, a, a culture. So here is another ideal of a characteristic company. A company that continuously revises its mission and its company culture based on the people that work there. Companies that are rigid and don't change based on the economic environment or the people that work for them become obsolete and often fail. Eastern Airlines, Pan Am, TWA to an extent, but I tell you what, I know that many people that worked at TWA and these was not a function of their workforce by any means, but for the company culture at the top broke down and, and it would made it very difficult for that company. So company culture and evolution, okay? So here's in summary, if they say, what would you say are the ideal aspects of a company? I think the most important aspect of the company is my compatibility with their mission. Your company's mission is this and I feel that I would be best suited and I could best uh, use my experience, talent, and skills to accomplish the mission of your company. I would feel most proud telling people that I work for your company. Also, one of the ideal characteristics of a company is that if there's opportunity for growth, I know that you don't want me being a first officer my entire career at your company, and I don't want to be a first officer either. I hope that someday I'll certainly uh, make captain and someday even be a check airman or maybe a department head, safety department, training department, or fleet manager. So an opportunity for growth in your company is very important to me, and I know you provide that to people that work for your company presently. Also, it's important that there's an adaptability to a company, and your company has taken on mergers and uh, acquired other companies through decades, and that has uh, produced a refinement in the mission. You're also adaptive to the economy and you're adaptive to the people that work here and participate in our workforce. And I feel that that makes a very competitive and long-standing airline. In addition, more selfishly, of course, I, I come here to work for a living and I, I seek out proper compensation, some flexibility, and an ability to make the standards of living for my family higher and higher year after year. These aren't primary because I know these things might not always be in place. I know we might go through mergers, bankruptcies, economic downturns, terrorist attack, world wars, whatever it is. So these are not primary. Really primary are the first three. Your mission, growth, internal ability to grow, and, and an adaptability to the to the economic and airline environment. These are the things that I think make an ideal company. Okay, does that make sense? Kind of try to make it a little bit bigger, put yourself in the backseat and make their, their airline and their mission the most important thing. And that is the most ideal aspect. Those foundations, their mission is actually really key that you get along with that mission. That is the most ideal because they need a dedicated employee that'll work for them. So many airlines have people on the books now that drag their feet and do not work 
to solve the company's problems and achieve the mission and goals of the company. You will be different from that because you've had the benefit of watching Air Job Boss TV. Anyway, if you have an interview coming up and you need further assistance, you can click the link below at airjobboss.com. I provide one-on-one -on -one interview preparation, or you can email me at any time with any information or question at info at airjobboss.com. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm the Air Job Boss, and we'll see you on the next video.